So how how is the tattoos? Um, they're back. <laughs> they're back for good. Yeah, I I um, it was amazing to see my skin for the first time in like 15 years. So that was really cool. Um, I, I and I and I realized uh, the tattoos are covering some of my muscles. Yeah. And like the. Like the like the cuts on my body, and I realized, oh, okay, I wasn't as out of shape as I thought I was. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, it was good for my confidence. <laughs> I know. I, I just watched it the other day. Uh, was that a shock to you? See how your body looked like without the tattoos? When they when the makeup artists did all their magic? Yeah, yeah. It, it uh, like I said, I haven't seen my skin in 15 years. You know, um, so it. It was it was kind of surreal. Yeah. I didn't feel like myself, you know. Um, but I got used to it really quick. It's it's amazing how humans you you adapt so quick. You get used to something that's that you know is very um, uh, kind of surreal for you, and you get used to it really quick when you just keep seeing it. And it's on you, yeah. And has it been surreal for you to see how how successful and and uh, popular uh, single parents has become? You know, it, it is surreal. I'm not surprised, but I am. I it, it's it's humbling, yeah. um, and uh, but I'm not surprised because our show, I think objectively speaking, is a very good show, very well written, very well acted, um, and I think we have really good chemistry. Um, but the actors are amazing, uh, and and the writers are sublime. You know, yeah. Do you love the fact that? It's about human human interaction, not about, especially with you, it's not about that you're Asian American or that you're Asian and you just see them, uh, the whole cast interacting and the storylines doesn't just pick on uh, or try to make fun of, of each other in regards to ethnicity or whatnot. Right, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of cool that ethnicity doesn't define the characters, it, it, it kind of just only lends a layer, but... Um, uh, every character I feel like is very well fleshed out um, and um, flawed in beautiful ways and um, I love the, um, the dynamics of all the five parents and all the storylines are really strong I think and it's nice to see that day uh, week in and week out you know yeah yeah and then for you you've been able to go all over the place. Now you were you were in the South Pacific. Tell us a little bit more about that. You were were you in Bora Bora? Where were you at? Bora man. Tell us a, tell us the experience. Bora Bora is unreal. I, I God, it's it was a that was a real privilege to to be able to experience Bora Bora like that. Um, I think I, I really hope everyone can can make a trip there once in their lifetime. Um, it, it exceeded expectations, and um, the the people uh, of French Polynesia and Tahiti are so welcoming. They're so down to earth, and you know, not just the scenery, but the food was amazing, um, and just the hospi uh, hospitality. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget that trip. And, and in, what's your next tropical trip? Or are you planning to go somewhere in Europe or whatever? No, I don't know. Europe would be nice. I've never been to Europe, but maybe Philippines. I've been wanting to go to the Philippines for a minute. Oh, yeah, you gotta go to El Coron and El Nido and all those places. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to get some suggestions from you. Yeah, yeah. Get it from Sally I really wanna go, yeah. And then lastly, tell us, how has, has East West Players been an integral part of your career too, and actually connecting with other Asians in, in Hollywood? Mm -hmm. See, like, I, I, I'm from New York, um, and I came to LA just a few years ago, but. I think East West players played a big role in really kind of bringing me into the community wholeheartedly. And um, I met so many awesome artists through this um, theater company, you know, and I know East West players has a long, rich history. Um, and uh, so just being a part of the community and, and the, um, the theater company in one way or another, I feel like it's an honor. Yeah. And then lastly, where would you see yourself in five years? Hard question. <laughs> maybe, maybe have a baby. Um, be a real single parent in real life? No, I don't know. Um, maybe, you know what, I would love to do uh, a Disney MCU movie. 
or or a, a, a DC or some kind of superhero movie, you know, and 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 have some kind of franchise be part of a, a ongoing franchise there, like a cinematic universe. That'd be cool. Yeah, and uh, maybe. Um, Nominated, you know, for an Emmy, Oscar, Golden Globe, SAG Award, all that stuff, um, and st and maybe produce later on. And then, lastly, if you were the character Miggy right now, how would you say? What would you say about East West players? How would you say something about East West players? That's Miggy. And East West players is dope as fuck. And yo, yo. <laughs> where's my orange peel? I like orange slices. Yeah. And then lastly, tell everybody where they can follow you at. Um, they can follow me at at the Jake Choi. That's my social media handle across the board. All right. Thank you, Jake. Thank you so much.